guys it's louise here from crazy borgies i hope you're all well and fine on this beautiful april day so today's video i am going to be continuing with the march cross stitch even yes and i am going to be working on this dark green color again and i've done the hat up here and some of the cream are done as well and um yeah let's get started so first and foremost if you haven't done so already please consider liking subscribing sharing and all that usual youtubey stuff that we ask you to do okay so little disclaimer i do cross stitch in hand so please bear that in mind i will try to keep the ada cloth as still as possible but it's not always possible when you cross stitch in hand okay this one was gifted to me by biggest craft and in fact i am awaiting another order from themselves so i have done many unboxings for them they are a very good company and their prices are very reasonable so yeah so keep your eyes out for my next floss tube unboxing you will hear some background noise because come out come out where are you because my children are at home and obviously kiddies being kiddies well they make noise don't they it's just the way it is i hope i am working on the right symbol let me double check for three three four six yes i am i just wanted to i should have double checked that before i started shouldn't i but it's been one of those days today it's very difficult for me to film when they're all at home very difficult guys so i'm trying my best as you can hear i have a giggler in the background as well i have no idea what she's laughing at and i don't think she does either to be honest with you <laughs> oh dear so yes i hope you guys didn't eat too many easter eggs so we've still got loads of easter eggs left in the house they usually last a couple of months don't they so plenty of time for the kiddies to eat them problem is with chocolate i find is the more you eat it the more you want it yeah that's what i find or is that just me i don't know So yeah, I actually don't have the April one in this, but that's okay. It's okay. I just thought I'd continue with this because I'd started it last week and I started it later than what I initially wanted to. But you know, sometimes that's what happens isn't it I'm wondering if i should bring you in perhaps a little bit closer yes that's a bit better isn't it there is a lot of this dark green in this one but i think you know that being St. Patrick's Day 
on the 17th of March. It had to be green really, didn't it? Yeah. Whenever I tell anyone that my birthday is St. Patrick's Day, they always say to me, oh, you should have been called Patricia. Always. Always. But unfortunately, I don't have any Irish links through the family tree, no. So we do have a lot of mixed blood, though, in our family. I do find researching families, family trees very, very interesting. Very interesting. So, yeah. There we go. I think I'm just going to do a couple more in this green shade and then I'm going to change colour. Whoops, I've just pulled my thread out. Because I want to do some over here as well. I want to do some of that hat that I was working on. There we go. I received um, a PR pack actually from, oh, who was it, from Diamond Art Gifts. So I'm going to be filming that unboxing perhaps tomorrow. Right, let me get the next colour floss out. I'm just going to pause you and I'll be back in one second. Right, so I am back with 310 this time because this time that's what the symbol is yeah and we're working in the little hat section Oops. I actually spotted a mistake on this one from last week, but that's okay. not gonna stress myself out about it as I'm always saying you know it's your project and if you make a mistake it's okay if you want to go back and sort it out if you don't don't you know it's only you that knows it's there really there we go I might actually put some music in if I can get my laptop started because the dog, little Miss Luna, Looney Lou as we like to call her, she's done it again hasn't she guys, she's gone and she's chewed my laptop charger plug. This is the second one that I've had to replace that she's gone through. Honestly, the amount of damage that such a cute little dog can do is amazing. It really is. It's just unbelievable. I love her to bits, but honestly... 
it's it's a nightmare some days with her because she really has done a lot of damage but you know it's uh stuff that i'll have to sort out in the future because there's really no point in me doing it now because she's only going to go and do the same but to a different area of the house so she's in a crate as well at the moment because at night time then she can't get up to mischief and she doesn't poo or wee all night long which is good but we're still having um, the odd wee or poo if she's out amongst the family and I think it could be an excitement thing she gets over excited and then decides to just go for a wee I guess oops so I haven't been doing much this this uh, Easter really just been it's been raining a lot here in the UK so it kind of restricts you as to what what you can do really um yeah I've already waxed this uh this floss Come on, which one of you is loose? There. I did watch a horror film the other day. Now, usually I don't like watching um, horror movies, but it was one that I'd seen advertised on TikTok. And you know where they show you... Um, they show you little snippets of films. And... This film had got me. It was called Afterlife and it was about this nutter, you know. <laughs> the, mind you, aren't all horror movies about nutters? And, um, yeah, it was with Liam Nel Neeson, sorry. I keep going to say Nelson. Liam Neeson and Christina Ritchie. And um, it was very strange. And it left me feeling very confused even at the end. So, yeah. And I thought, you know, there's a reason I don't watch horror movies. So, because I get too, too anxious about it all. So, I'm going to hop over here now. If we can find... The hole. There we go. And we're gonna go. I was working on today one of my diamond painting canvases, guys, and it was it was doing my brains in quite literally. It was doing my brains in, and it was my happy Easter one that was gifted by a company called A Diamond Painting. And I'm not joking you, this canvas, when I say it's confetti madness, it's a 30 by 40, I've done a kitting up of it, and it's the one that says Happy Easter with all the Easter eggs in the background. Well, you know, the amount of confetti in it is... Yeah, challenging. It's got 25 colours and literally 25 colours of it are all over the canvas. And I've got most of it down. I'm down to colour number 20 now. Um, so I've only got like five colours left to do. But it's... It's been hard going, this one. Very hard going. 
and I've been working on it. I don't know what I'm doing there. I've been working on it practically every day because I really wanted to get it done because obviously it's Easter related. But it has really done my brains in. You know, when you have a canvas like that, you know it's time to take a break. Yeah, so it's literally, I just can't wait to be done with it now. It's got to that point. I mean, I like confetti, but honestly, it's just, wow. You know, it's one of those... So yeah, that's all I've been doing really, is diamond painting, watching some movies, walking the dog, and yeah, nothing else really. But that's Easter, isn't it? Because I was thinking to myself today, like, you really can't plan anything because you just, the weather is just... Always rains, always rains here in the UK in Easter. So, yeah. But I'm pleased we're in April now because now I feel like the stress of the birthdays in March is now behind me. So that's good. Now I've got no birthdays that I need to worry about until September. Yeah. Right, you can go like this. As you can see, I chop and change when cross stitching. It really depends on my mood and if I like stitching in the colour or if I'm colour blocking you know it varies all the time and it's the same with diamond painting I, I chop and choose as well with that one minute I'll be doing um section by section next minute I'll be doing the whole thing yeah so colour by colour don't really have a preference it's just how I'm feeling at the time but as I was saying last week it's really easy to break your needle cross stitching like this because you're having to like bend the needle almost so yeah There we go. So I've done the little black area of the hat there and then I'm going to thread it. No, I'm going to cast off because there's none of this shade anywhere else at the top of the cup here. So let me cast off and we'll change colour again, okay, because I can see more 310 at the bottom here but I'm not willing I want to do just the hat here at the moment so hold on a second so I have now managed to settle 
my little one she is driving me insane she's very clingy at the moment so we're going to do now a little bit of diamond painting so this diamond painting is the one that i was talking about in the first part of the video and it has driven me to because uh, it's got so much confetti over it i'm now down to my last few colors it does look better in the camera than what it does to my eye and um yeah so let's get diamond painting guys and i'm going to zoom you up close to where i am working on which is going to be around this sort of area okay so i can't remember where I got up to and see that I've got some blue tack on underneath there but that's okay so what are you all working on because at the moment with the kiddies at home I'm struggling to work on anything it's really difficult at the moment and I've got a terrible cold which hasn't been great Yeah, this one has driven me crazy a bit, this one. I just feel like I've been having to hop all over the canvas with all of the 25 colours. Like, literally, it's like one over here, one over there, one over there, one over here, one over there, one over there, one over there, one over there everywhere. And you're just like, oh, you feel like it's never going to end when it's like that. But it will. We're nearly there now. That's what I keep telling myself anyway. Nearly there. Yeah, it's been raining most of the day here again. Although I did manage to get Luna in the garden for a quick run around with her ball. But literally I could be in that garden with her all day long throwing the ball and she still wouldn't get tired. There we go. So there's that little area done. Have I missed any? No, I have. I have. Uh, it's because the glare of the light was blocking it. I still need to go through with a straightener. There. I think. Yeah, now we're going to work up here. Like so. So yeah, we've just been having a quiet Easter at home. Nothing exciting.
Yeah, if I go quiet, guys, it's because I'm concentrating. Okay, good job I looked up because I didn't realise I was coming out a shot there. Right, and now I've lost my wax because it's still <laughs> still on the diamond. I was looking at it, I was thinking, where's my wax gone? And uh, all the tack that I put in it. <laughs> and I looked out and it's, oh gosh. It's been one of those days, guys. Even my tack is trying to leave the building now. Honestly. Trying to see if that's a T or an R there. It's a T, yes. I'm not ashamed to admit that sometimes I do have to use a magnifier because the eyes let me down. Oh, it's come out again. Doesn't want to stay in. Stay in there, I want to say. Can we try some multi-placing? But I have to warn you, I'm not very good at it. Yeah, see? <laughs> Just not very good at multi-placing for some reason okay there we go that's a bit better I did I was multi-placing the other day with a two-placer and it was okay but it did it did get on my nerves after a while as well. I don't know. I sort of lose my patience with um, multi-placers. I think, oh, I could get this done faster just single placing, you know. Right, let's try some more gone out of zone again zone out of shots even no so do it up here where's the two place so I'll show you so I was using this one the other day and it is a two placer Can you see you guys and um I'll do a bit now with you actually. I started off alright but I just got fed up of it. In the end I was like, oh. Always ends up wonky. <laughs> it really does. Oh dear. I do apologise for my sniffling, but unfortunately. As I've told you previously, the kids have given me one of their colds. The joys of it. <laughs> Am I still in zone? In zone, in shot even. I don't know why I keep saying in zone. There. Nah, so... 
just this little little section up here to go just move it up a bit so guys let me know in the comment section do you multiplace if you do what is your preferred number to multiplace is it one well not one is it two or three six five you know i think you've got a multiplacer out there for every number really i know sweet tea says her her one that she goes to is a six placer i think i've even got a ten placer somewhere i don't know where it is though It's a very snug fit, these diamonds. Very snug. Right. So where is my next section of T? That's this symbol that we're working on. Okay, it's down here. Just down... Come out, come out, wherever you are. Where are you? It's on the E over here. Just there, just a couple of bits. This is what I'm saying. You've got a couple of bits here, a couple of bits there. It's, oh, it's been a long one, this one. Okay. Actually, my diamond placement looks quite, quite straight on the camera. I'm quite impressed there. Shame it doesn't in real life, but, you know, hey-ho. There we go. So now we've got some more over here. Of our teas. This one already came bagged up, so I didn't have to kit it up, which was good. Go. Whoops. Okay, got some round here. It's not a very fun colour to do, unfortunately, is this, but it's the colour that I was diamond painting this evening. As soon as I get it completed, I will obviously do a product review, especially as this is a new to me company as well. Never heard of um, a diamond painting. And also, I've never done an unboxing for them again after this, this one. I've only ever done one unboxing for them. So I was curious to see. how it is 
I think I've got two diamond paintings from them. So there's still another one. That I've got to do. But that's for another time. Seeing that I'm not still in shot, which I am, just seeing you in ever so slightly, just there. Yeah, this one I decided to tackle all in one hit. So all at once, so I just done it colour by colour. But the problem with doing it that way is you always find that you miss some. Always. There we go. I didn't even sell a tape or put washi tape around the edges. But never mind because we're nearly there with this now anyway. So, I think that I have finished all of that colour. I think so. Can't see any more anywhere else, but there probably is. Okay, let's move on to a different colour, I think. Just give me one second. Okay, guys, prepare yourself to be blinded by pink. Look at that. That's our next colour there. Lovely, gorgeous baby pink. Beautiful. Right, so this is symbol U. So as you can see, we have quite a lot of it over in that general area well in fact it's everywhere just like i was saying before it's confetti madness so if you love confetti this is the one for you definitely so this has been a long video tonight but Sometimes they're long, sometimes they're short. It's just the way it is, isn't it? And here we are upstairs calling me. So my son has her in his room. Yeah. 
Oh god. Let me know if you like it when I do the two in one videos like this. This is my first time doing like cross stitch and diamond painting in one video. So let me know what you think guys. There we go. Stick in the camera, so that's good in shot. Right, when I get to the end of this P, I think I'm gonna have to say adio, adios, and buenas noches because, yeah, I am very tired actually today. In fact, I'm always tired. <laughs> I don't think although I did I have had a couple of lie-ins where I felt really like oh I needed that lie-in so I have had a couple of of them which has been good the other day something interesting happened to me just quickly I'll tell you now um, I had someone round my house to take some samples away from my bathroom and he was trying to buy my diamond art that was on my walls can you believe that guys I was quite shocked actually he was like so how, how much do you want for them and I was like uh, they're not for sale and he was quite, you know, like, oh, why not? And I was like, mm, because, because I'm sentimentally attached to them. So they're all my religious ones that I have on the wall. So I've got like the Last Supper and I've got Our Lady and Her Son and what else have I got? <laughs> Oh, yep, yeah, just Our Lady as well. And then I've got a cross by the front door as well. Which I didn't particularly think came out that well. But he was like, no, that's beautiful, that one. And I was like, oh, okay. So, yeah. I've never actually thought of selling my diamond art, to be honest with you. And I don't think I would, because like so many people have said to me, oh no, you should, you should, but I get attached to them, guys, and I, I have a lot of sentimental value to them. Yeah, I don't know. I might be doing myself out of money, but you know, money's not everything, is it? I said to my daughter, what you do with them after I've passed is up to you, but... For now, she keeps threatening to throw them all in with me. <laughs> all my diamond paintings. Oh dear. Right. Just a little bit more? You think? Or shall we say adios? It's 27 minutes. Okay, just five, five more minutes and then I'm logging off. Oh, 
there. There are some lovely colours in this one, I must admit. But it is just serious amounts of confetti. Here, Tweety Pie up there now. There we go, there is something about purples and pinks, isn't there, that really, they really set each other off, really complement each other. There we go. And then we've got just two over there. Right, so... I think that's where I'm going to love you and leave you guys. Let me just zoom, zoom you out. Whoops. Sorry guys, I think I'm going to have to do some serious editing here with this video tonight. There. So, we are nearly, well I'm nearly there with this. We are nearly there. Just got a few more colours left to do now. Just three more colours. And then I have missed a couple of number ones that I need to go back over. Which is very easy to do with a canvas like this. But that's what it's looking like. It's getting there. It's just, as I said, has serious amounts of confetti. But yes, it looks better through the camera most definitely. But anyway, take care. God bless. Thank you so much for all your comments, your likes. And if you could please also give me a thumbs up because it really does help my channel grow and helps push my videos out there on the algorithm. And um, let me know in the comments section what you think of this beautiful easter egg diamond painting and also what you think of my cross stitch as well okay guys take care god bless and i'll speak to you all soon bye for now guys bye